one of our graduates is uh, in a space of having become very famous as a huge company and uh, is changing health and is training doctors on an FDA approved electoral medicine that actually kind of jiggles the cell and puts electricity back in your cell, reads if your areas are uh, particularly um, not functioning properly, and gives you auditory cues, and then recharges that area and resets it electrically. And it causes, you know, arthritic pain to drop about 75%. If you have an, a rib that's out, you'll heal about um, maybe five times faster. Uh, if you have back pain, things of that nature, uh, it will do things you can't imagine. It's in lots of doctors' office, and the man that trains all the docs in the United States is our graduate. Um, he used to be a Hollywood stuntman, and uh, some of you have seen his leg. You've sat at his table, and he uh, was told he'd never walk again. He'd have arthritis by now. And he's, uh, he's worked with the most famous people in movies that you've seen. Uh, he's been a really famous stuntman. Um, this medicine was brought to him by one of the movie stars that knew about it, knew it was being used with athletes and major football stars and teams. And uh, after he got treated, he became committed to work with it. And a man who never walked again has done triathlons. This graduate who just treated Mark Victor Hansen last night. But I suppose you'd like the... Uh, the medicine to speak for itself. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, my dear friend, John Thorpe, ladies and gentlemen, is in the building. It's the biggest problem facing our country right now. Health care. Health care. Don't you think it's a little funny that you're diagnosed with an EEG, an EKG, and an EMG? If you're being diagnosed electrically, why aren't you being treated electrically. Could it be that the last thing the pharmaceutical industry wants is a painless therapy that gets you well and costs nothing to use but a few cents in electricity? So all we're out to do is improve health care quality and lower health care cost. I ran a triathlon a year from the date of the injury on a leg that this beautiful thing here. Now this is completely out of joint. That's a broken bone. That femur is bone on bone. Medically, there is no possible way for me to walk. And you can see how I can't walk. And I'm in no pain, and that was 23 years ago, and I don't have to treat myself. I treated myself solidly for a year, and after that, I went on and started running races. And after the first race, I called my orthopedic surgeon, and I said, I just ran a triathlon on a leg you said would never bend. He said, that confirms you are the stupidest human being I ever met. <laughs> stupidest human being I ever met. You will be crippled within the year. You will be arthritically crippled. That leg is bone on bone, so expect to be crippled. So if every cell reproduces itself in seven years, I figured in seven years I'll either be crippled or well but three years later, I beat him in a triathlon. Yeah. Go see John in the stunt trailer. He can make anybody's pain go away. And so I had police officers that had been shot, couldn't raise their arm above their belly button. And in one treatment, I had them above their head. And so now, who speaks for me? Dr. Catherine Wilner, Mayo Clinic, the number one neurologist in the world. She's on my team. How many of you are familiar with Dr. Stephen Sinatra, cardiologist, number one in the country? He wrote the book Sinatra Solutions. He's the one that brought the CoQ enzyme to the front. He's also involved in racehorses. So we are in every walk of medicine from the neurosurgeon to the veterinarian. If you think of every cell in your body as a little tiny battery, we're using artificial intelligence. This is missile guidance chip technology combined with Chinese medicine. I've owned two medical centers myself and been involved with Loma Linda. I need a thousand practitioners across the country ready to handle when we change the face of medicine into you know it today, non-drug, non-invasive, and it works. The leading cause of death is death by medicine. 
far surpassed heart disease, far surpassed cancer, death by medicine. 783,000 people last year died by the wrong prescriptions, by mistakes in hospitals, by the oops, don't check into the hospitals, you won't check out. We've got a real problem. The hospital I'm involved with in Rosarita, Mexico, 50 million. He put his money where his mouth was and built, he owned Gull Laboratories and built a non-toxic hospital where you pee, spit, and give me your blood and your hair and your stool so I can analyze what your body's producing, what it's not producing. Two German scientists proved beyond a shadow of a doubt that cells are controlled electrically. And it wasn't big current, it was small current, known as microcurrent. Millions to trillions of an amp mirror is what opens the gates that allow waste out and nutrient in. So we start building you one single cell at a time. So what doctor, chiropractor, physical therapist, I'm FDA registered, so this is, now this is real, real medicine, real, real results, but no one wants you to know about it because it gets you well. You're worth more money sick than you are well. Pay me to keep you well. Pay little or nothing to come in sickness. The sicker you are, the more money they make. The pharmaceutical industry was out to, number one, get every woman over the age of 40 on two medications. They far surpassed it. They're on seven. And then the medication after medication, you have to deal with all the side effects. And beyond that, the side effects is death. And that's what they've got you coming into because they don't have time to see you. So this is a technician field. I can train anybody in a 40-hour week. So who do you know that would like a brand new profit stream? Who do you know that suffers from chronic disease and illness? Who do you know that would like to be involved in the medicine of the 21st century? And by the way, I just got my first federal contract with the Indian nation out of Montana, the Cheyenne nation. I can't control what you put in your mouth and I can't control your exercise. I have never healed anyone. It's up to you. I'm a facilitator. I will help you heal you. So if you're interested, please see me. There'll be a booth on Saturday. I love you, buddy. You're gonna have a table, right?